three years ago tonight, almost at this very moment, a young father was gunned down in front of his house. Three years later, and Brian Thompson's murder remains unsolved. Local 12's Anjanette Levy joins us now with his mother's plea for someone to come forward. Anjanette. Well, Cammie, detectives here at the criminal investigation section have investigated Brian Thompson's murder for three years now. There were a lot of people out in the street that night, but Thompson's killer remains free, and his mother says that's just wrong. Three years ago tonight, Store Street was a crime scene. Some people were robbing a dice game down the street when shots were fired. Brian Thompson was coming home from the store. And he yelled for them to get the baby in and yelled for the neighbor to get in. And the person ran sort of to the tip of his car and seen him. And he put his hands up when they ran up to the uh, window. And they shot him in the face for no reason. Brian Thompson died in front of his house. Kathy Pantoka comes by here every day where there are reminders of her son. I need someone to help solve my son's murder because I need this for his children. Thompson had two children. Little Mackenzie was only seven months old when her dad was killed. Brian was nine. People in the neighborhood have cooperated with the investigation, but Pantoka gets frustrated because she said there are people who know who killed her son, but won't talk. People was talking. People got paid off and got scared and, and tried to keep it quiet. I'm not going to keep my son quiet. Some of those people aren't from the neighborhood, but after three years, Kathy Pantoka hopes someone will feel something, possibly some guilt, and talk so her family can finally have some peace. Just give the information. I'm bagging you. As a mother, please help me get the murderer off the street that killed my son. Brian Thompson's family has held a lot of marches and vigils in the hopes of keeping his memory and his story alive. They've even taken their concerns about violence in the city to City Hall. And they want all of this violence, even the recent violence, to stop. But once and for all, they really want to know who killed Brian. Reporting live from the Criminal Investigation Section, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cami? Anjanette, thank you. There is a $2,000 reward for information that leads to the arrest of Brian Thompson's killer. Call Crime Stoppers with your clues, and that number is 352-3040.